No! People must think, what's going on with this guy? Mm. Everyone's got their own opinion about which ice cream is the best. What better way to see which one comes out on top than trying them out all at the same time? Just to clarify, we're talking about handheld ice creams, not your tub ice creams. These are the ice creams that you can buy from the corner shop or the supermarket and eat them with your hand. Today, coming into the studio, I look like a dad ready for a picnic. And I've got all my ice cream in here. Hopefully they haven't melted. As you can see, there's tons of goodies in there. The studio is hot and ready for me to eat ice cream. So let's go. So here we've got the classic Magnum. Is it intact? Oh! I bought this in the corner shop, expecting it to be mashed up by the time I opened it. But no, it's fine. Mm. You know, that crunch is just amazing. I think this is actually still quite nice. It might be plain, but I think this goes down a treat. The chocolate's great. Ice cream's got a bit more flavor to it. I'm gonna give the classic Magnum a 7.5. Here we've got Feast. I've not actually tried this before. I've heard a lot about it and I know there are people that love this. Let's see what the feast has in store for me. Looks like a big bit of chocolate with bits of peanut on it. Mmm. Mmm. It's got nice chocolatey outside, but the inside is just too, it's too icy, if you know what I mean. But the outside is really nice. It's got a nice little crunch to it. That being said, I'd give the feast a five out of 10. So here we got the classic Cornettos. Ooh, ooh. All right. You, all you ice cream makers that are making these kind of cones, stop putting chocolate that will just stick to the paper. I'm not licking the paper. Mm. Peanut and chocolate combination is really nice. It's the ice cream, it's just not enough flavor. No, I'm enjoying everything else apart from the ice cream. I'm gonna give the classic Cornetto four out of 10. Here I've got the knobbly bobbly. Mm. Ooh, it's kept intact. So we've got like hundreds and thousands. It's got chocolate on it. Mmm. Mmm. It's quite nice actually. It's got strawberry chocolate, which is a great mix, as we know. If you're all about this life with the hundred thousands, this is for you. I'd give the knobbly bobbly a seven out of ten. Here I've got raspberry screwball. This takes me back to secondary school maybe and like the ice cream van at school used to sell these before Jamie Oliver came in and said no more ice cream vans. From what I remember, there should be a spoon under the lid, like a little wooden one. No, there's no spoon. Raspberry screwball, improvised spoon. Let's go. Oh, it works. Look at that. Okay. Mm, bit bland actually, barely any raspberry. Oh, I'm a bit let down by this. The raspberry is just lacking that punch. I'm going to give the raspberry screwball a 3 out of 10. Twister! A lot of people will probably give this the crown because it's a mix of both ice cream and ice lolly. And there's so many different flavours. There's multiple ways to eat this. I'm one of those people that like to eat the cream on the outside first. Mm. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to eat it like a civilised person. It's a wonderful, wonderful, delicious combination and I love it. I might just sit here and finish this. They don't give enough, if I'm being honest. And way more of the cream would make it a 10. I'm gonna give this twister a nine out of 10. Bang. Here I've got white chocolate Magnum. I know there are many different flavors of Magnum now, but this is one of the classics. Oh, look at that. I was half expecting it to be broken, ready to hit a crunch, yeah? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. The white chocolate's great, but in the ice cream on the middle, which is what it's about, it's not that great. I'm gonna give the white Magnum a score of five. Here I've got the Mars ice cream. I know a lot of people like this because it's just basically a cold version of the Mars bar. You normally you don't eat chocolate on a hot day, but ice cream form, yes. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Classic, classic, classic. You've got a Mars bar taste, but just cooler. If you're a fan of Mars bar, but you want to enjoy it on a summer's day, this is definitely the one for you. If you haven't tried it before, definitely try it. I'm going to give the Mars ice cream an 8.5. Next up, we've got the Fab. I know some people that have this year round. You know who you are. I think there's only real, really one way to enjoy this, and it's to bite it. Mm -hmm. Overall, the combination of flavors, you've got the chocolate, the hundreds of thousands and a bit of strawberry fruit lolly in the middle. This is like the right amount of crunch, the right amount of chocolate. However, should it have been all the way, what this gives 
is people with the option. You have the top bit, if you want a nice lolly, then you've got the bottom. I'm gonna give the fab an eight out of 10. So here I've got Chalk Ice. Now this brings back memories of me being a kid and just plowing through these. Excited to see how this has evolved or if it still tastes the same. Mm. It is how I remember it, but now that I've tried things, I've lived a little, this isn't that nice. It's just like a thin layer of chocolate with a little bit of vanilla ice cream in the middle. But the vanilla ice cream isn't that great. As an adult, where I can buy any ice cream I want, I probably won't buy this anymore. Farewell, Choc Ice. I'm never going to see you again. So I'm going to give the Choc Ice a 2 out of 10. So up next, we've got the Solero. Oh, is it melted? Oh, look at that. Oh, so there's loads of fruit with like ice cream in the middle. Solero. Might be a bit melted, but you can't deny the flavours. You've got the sweetest flavours from the fruits on the outside, and then you've got the nice ice cream in the middle. As a combo, this is banging. Ooh. It's not like they're using your typical flavours, like your black currant and your strawberries. You've got your pineapple mixed with peach and passion fruit, and then you've got the nice ice cream in the middle. This is where a lot of people go wrong. I'm going to give the Solero a 9.5. Next, I've got Calippo. This is a classic flavour, orange. There's a couple of ways people enjoy this. They like to mush it up inside. I like to melt it a little bit so I get to drink it. Ooh, it's melted quite a bit, I think. Ooh. Mmm, it's basically a slush puppy now. Might drink it. It's still quite sweet. I do feel like you can tell they've made it properly compared to some of the ice lollies out there. So I'd give the orange Calippo a solid seven out of 10. So up next, I've got the rocket lolly. Mm. I feel like my way to enjoy this is to bite it, so here we go. Oh, much better when you bite it. So much better. I feel like this is simple, but if you want more flavours and stuff, this isn't the one for you. I'd give the Rocket Lolly 6 out of 10. Up next, we've got the Snickers ice cream, and it's still intact. Look at that. Proper. Mmm. I don't know what it is about this. That just bangs. It's just everything. It's the ice cream, the chocolate, the peanuts, the little fudge it's got in the middle. When it's cold and in this form, it is so good. Mmm. Mmm. It's big enough for you to be like, actually, I might have two. And the fact that it's even melted a little bit and I'm still wanting to eat it. Banging. I'm going to have to give the Snickers ice cream a 10 out of 10. I'm going to finish this whole thing right now. Mmm. So here we have the fruit pastel lolly. So, ooh, it's smaller than I remember. I swear they were like, at least to down here. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, okay, so once you've melted it a little bit, what I then do is you bite around it. You reveal the next layer of ice lolly, which was always a fun game for me. Nice on a summer's day, but is it the best? I don't know. I'm gonna give the fruit pastel lolly a 7.5. So next we've got the white lemonade ice lolly. Oh, you can smell the lemon already. Ooh. It's got a bit of a pattern to it. I don't know if you can see that. The lemonade ice lolly. Mm. I mean, it's not too icy, do you know what I mean? Let me bite it. Biting it is even better. You're basically drinking lemonade once you bite it. This is quite nice. I'm surprised by this. I just thought it was just going to be like a big ice pole. I would give this lemonade ice lolly seven and a half. Here I've got the mini milks. To make it fair, I'm going to try each of these flavors and then give them their own score. Ooh, this is when it's nice, when it's like slightly melted and you can just bite it. So here's the chocolate one. Mm. Tastes like a chocolate mousse, but on an ice cream thick. I'm going to give the chocolate mini milk a seven out of 10. White mini milk. Mmm, it's like the, the flavour kicks in all the way at the end and so I'd give this white mini milk an 8 out of 10. Let's see what the strawberry one's like. Oh, so this one's a tight one. This is, I feel like it's between this one and the white one for sure, but I think the strawberry one comes out on top. So I'm going to give the strawberry mini milk an 8.5. Here I've got Mr. Freeze ice lollies. I know some of you might call them ice poles, or ice pop, whatever, but they're here today on the list, so I'm gonna try them and see if they're nice. Here's the cola, Mr. Freeze. Mm. I think the flavor's okay. I'll give the cola, Mr. Freeze, a five out of 10. Tropical. Mm. Sweeter than the cola, but like most ice poles, once you get past the initial flavor, or you can then taste this ice afterwards. This one's better than the cola, so I would give this a six out of 10. I know there's more flavors, but this is all I can get. 
So the last one is the lemonade. Once the flavor's gone of the initial juice, it's not that great, it's just ice again. So I would give this lemonade a five and a half. The best one is tropical. So here I've got the Flake 99. This is supposed to be like the freezer version to the 99p ice cream you can get from an ice cream van. So let's see what the Flake 99 is like. It's like the plainest ice cream ever. Let me, let me bite into the Flake. It's your typical Flake flavor, but with bland ice cream. So if you're a fan of Flake, this is all you because it's just pure Flake flavor. So I'm gonna give the Flake 99 a three out of 10. So here I've got the fruit split. I'm not sure what flavor this is. Let me lick it. I, I can't actually tell what flavor this is. Mm, it's not that great, if I'm being honest. It's not like it tastes bad, it was just oh. hella bland. I guess the only saving grace is it's quite cheap. So I'm gonna give this fruit split three and a half. Woo! So that was a lot of ice cream. I eat ice cream a lot. And the fact that I feel normal is a bad sign. I'm not gonna eat ice cream for a while. But out of all the iconic ice creams, here are the results. Choc ice, the worst by far. Third place, we had the Twister. In second, we had the Solero Exotic. And in first place, we had the Snickers ice cream. So that was me eating all this ice cream for your pleasure. Actually, it was for my pleasure. But if there was any ice creams I missed out, please leave it in the comment section below. And don't at me if I've cussed your favorite one. Um, that was just my opinion. You can carry on eating the ones that you love. I'm gonna go finish the rest of my Solero. Catch you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>